just recently united arab emirate released world's largest model falcon 180 billion parameter one also there are a lot of other companies which have been releasing huge models which are using huge data sets but for the mere models like us it is very hard to run these huge models with huge data sets because they are very costly they consume a lot of energy and then there is there are also issues around controllability so what do we do this is where this new mo model 51.5 comes to the rescue the researchers which are mentioned in this paper have introduced this 1.3 billion parameter model which is called as 51.5 it focuses on common sense reasoning in natural language also this model aims to achieve performance comparable to models 5 to 10 times larger using a unique training approach that basically exploits textbook like synthetic data in other words the training data for this model consists of 7 billion tokens from 51 training data synthetically generated 20 billion tokens this model is trained from scratch and is used without any instruction fine tuning or rlhf okay now one thing to keep in note is that this model is more suited towards common sense simple un question answering plus simple code problems now let me show you how you can install this model locally either on linux windows mac or even you can install it in jupyter notebook whether it is in aws sagemaker notebook or google colab for this example i am going to use my google colab let's get started the first thing we need to do is to install couple of python modules one is transformer and the other one is inf so let it install once it gets installed we will move on to downloading our model and it shouldn't take too long that's done both of them are installed now here what we are doing is we are importing these libraries then we are setting up a default device cuda and then we are downloading our model and then creating a tokenizer out of it let me run it while i run it let me show you one more thing make sure that if you are running google colab you are using t4 gpu if you don't then go to runtime and from here change runtime type and make sure you are selecting t4 gpu i already have selected it so all good so as you can see my model is already done it is a very very quick small file around 2 gb so now let's try it out the first problem i am going to give to this model is that write up python program to add two numbers and then i am generating the response with this max length and then decoding the response and printing it let's run it to see what it does let's wait for it to come back so this is the response it has returned me and if i scroll down a bit you can see the response is pretty good the question was very simple and then it has added them that and it has also given me few more examples like find the maximum check if a number is even or odd and then it goes on and on okay now let's try out another example i'll just replace it i'm asking it this time what is a capital of capital of tonga which is not that of a common question so let's see if it is able to identify it or not so let's wait for it to return as you can see the green shows that it is generating that's done so the answer is totally wrong because it is not tonga city so it means that uh, uh, it was unable to do so and then it is hallucinating as you can see in the bottom that is fine now let's check this one so i'm asking it what are the steps to renovate a bathroom in a house let's run it to see what it does let's wait for it to return should be fun okay so it has come up with pretty decent answer though it hasn't given me the exact answer of renovating a bathroom but it is talking about 
how to install a new shower head and then giving the instructions about ceiling fan which has nothing to do with bathroom light fixture maybe and how to paint a room which is a general answer so you can see um, how this model is performing now let's give it a bit of a complex coding problem and that complex coding problem is that i will ask it to write me a game write me a game in game this pacman game in python let's see what it does this time let's wait for it to come back this is the response it has come back it is sort of talking with a student and uh, a really silly answer i would say let's try another prompt write me code for pacman we will say complete code let's run it again and see what it does now this time looks slightly better it has defined a class because my to i haven't specified the token but it seems to be going into the right direction so i think a good prompt engineering is needed to make sure that this model performs well anyway i hope that you enjoyed the show if you already have been trying it out um, please share your feedback and your experience if you have any questions confusion if you are stuck please feel free to put it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much